G'day guys, it's Matty Game from MB Mowing. Today I'm just doing a quick video basically on how small business um, psychologically gets to us at times when you can't work due to the weather conditions. Um, the today, um, well it's it's late January, so 19, no, 2017. Um, the thing is, here in Australia, um, New South Wales, um, we've had quite a bit of rain in the last couple of days. Um, where I'm located down here in Bowral, it's um, been raining for about three, nearly four days. And it just gets to a stage there where people get quite stressed about the idea that, you know, oh damn, I can't work today, I can't work today, I can't work tomorrow, oh geez, I haven't worked most of the week because of the rain or if it's extremely too hot, or something like that, whatever the case may be. The thing is, what I'm talking about here is how to overcome that stress. And basically, the human psychology, basic human psychology is basically, you know, you want what you can't have. Um, it's like a kid at the lolly store, you know, he goes to the lolly store and the bike at the store says, okay, you can have any of these lollies on the bottom here, but you can't have the ones at the top. They're out of your reach, you know, you can't have them. Straight away, the kid's thinking, oh, hang on, I can have any of one of these on the bottom, that's great, yeah, why can't I have, I want one of those on the top, I don't want the ones that I can have, I want the ones at the top. So you want what you can't have, it's just basic human psychology. And when it comes to small business like ourselves, um, if you can't work, it's what you want to do to make money, because you make a living out of it, and if you can't do it, because of the weather conditions, it drives you insane, and you think, no, I've, I've got to make money, this is crazy, it's, it's doing my head in, I've really got to get out there, I've got to work. So it, it kind of, it, um, psychologically, it kind of destroys you if you let it get to you. Um, now I've felt the best way to get over it, um, look at it this way, if it's been raining, raining for a couple of days, or it's raining and you can't get out there, you can't do any work and everything else, and you're thinking to yourself, oh this is bad, this is bad, oh, I don't know how I'm going to live. This is crazy. It's getting to me. You've got to turn the situation around in your head and you've got to sit back, relax, think about the whole situation, thinking, okay, um, you can't have all good. You've got to have good and bad. If you don't have the bad, you can't have the good. That's just how it goes, or yin and yang, whatever they call it. Um, if it doesn't rain, well, you won't be able to work because everything will dry out. And um, so you've got to look at it that way. You sit back and think, okay, it's I'm off today, I can't work because of the rain. Um, okay, tomorrow it looks like more rain. Shit, that's two days now without any work because of the rain, and tomorrow's going to rain, and the day after's going to rain. You think about it, okay, this is time off. Um, do some services on the mowers and everything else, check things out and all that type of stuff. Utilise the time off. Um, and the thing is, even though if you have time off, like that and you're thinking constantly about oh this is stressing me out stressing me out you're really not having time off because psychologically in your head you're, you're not resting and you know it gets to you that way psychologically this is the thing that really destroys people and my my own personal opinion is to lock yourself out of that situation and you've got to think to yourself hang on hang on if this is good this is good. I'm going to take some time off because I'm going to be really busy next week. Catch up and all that type of stuff. And I'm going to be so busy, I'm going to be raking in the money left, right and centre, which is a good thing. So it's good that it's raining. Um, you don't have to get the sprinkler out. You don't have to do anything like that. It's it's gold falling from the sky. You know, it's natural. It's, it's you know, no, no physical labour. No one has to do anything about it. It just rains. And... Because it's raining so much and you think, oh, I can't work, can't work, you've got to think to yourself, okay, let's just put this aside and next week I'll just focus on going hard all week. You know, and that's the best way of, I feel, looking at it that way. Um, so psychologically in your head, physically, fair enough, you're giving yourself a bit of a relaxing time, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a time out. So you're not overworking yourself, you're not going crazy. But, you know, mentally is the worst thing. 
the physical part you can overcome it's the mental side of it so mentally you just got to look at it that way okay get over it it's raining i'm not going to be working that's fine but it's good it's good it's good it's good next week it's going to be sunny it's going to be hot again i'm going to be out there and i'm going to be mowing lawns crazy 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 and you know in the long run it all works out the same i mean if you were working like yesterday and today you know and you're working next week and everything else yeah you're still making the same money it's just that you're jamming them all in a bit more condensed the following week and you know the good thing about that is that you can utilize other things if it really does get to that bad you can always go out there and fertilize lawns in the rain you can always do stuff like that um, take advantage of the rain you can always do that as well that's if it really gets to you and you really need to do something um, that psychologically in the back of your mind puts you to ease thinking no I've actually done something while I couldn't do anything if you know what I mean and when you get home you're soaked and everything else and you think oh geez but you got to think to yourself that's good that's good I fertilized the lawns that's good. I've utilised the time. I'm not just sitting on my ass doing nothing. Um, I fertilised the lawns, and the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be busy as all hell because I've just laid the foundation for more work. So you know, there's lots of other things you can do like that when it's raining. Um, also, you can do paperwork or catch up on stuff or do emails or you know, it, it's always good as well to keep in touch with other people in your industry. And in our industry, obviously, with lawn mowing and everything else like that. Um, we can contact people on Facebook or multimedia, you know, Facebook could be Facebook, could be YouTube, um, forums, whatever the case may be. And nine times out of 10, you contact people there and say, oh, it's raining, it's crazy down here. What are you guys doing? You know, and 90% of the time you get the guys turning back saying, yeah, got the same situation here. I don't know what to do with myself and everything else. But you've also got some people that turn around and put a little post there and say well look guys it's good you know good thing is it's gold falling from the sky thank god we're going to be really busy if we didn't have the rain we wouldn't have a job so you know they're the basics of it but anyway guys um yeah i just sort of posted out there you know just to keep everyone going keep the heads up keep it going uh don't get too stressed about it because it's just going to get busier the following week and um you know with bills and everything else you can always turn around to people and say look you know if you haven't got any money if you live you know day to day type of thing with your bills and everything else and all your money you can all also you can always contact you can always contact companies and say look you know i haven't got enough money this week can i defer my payment to next week you know stuff like that you can, you can always talk to people um, a lot of people in, in business, small business, usually stick to themselves and don't do anything else. And they don't call anyone, they don't talk to anyone. And psychologically, that's really bad because you get very self-centered, you think about, I'm a loser, I'm failing here. So, you know, it's always good to reach out, forums, or like us, we all get on YouTube and talk and all this type of thing. and. You know, things like that, it raises your self-esteem levels to think you're not the only one. Um, so psychologically, you know, you feel a lot better. But anyway, guys, just sort of throw it out there just to, you know, keep you all going. And um, to me, it's, um, well, we've had rain for the last couple of days, as I said before. Um, the lawns are all saturated, it's soaked. We've got puddles everywhere. We had floods yesterday. And so there's nothing much we can do today. I mean, the sun's out, as you can see in the background there. It's, you know, it's going to be 31 degrees here, apparently, today. It's been 16, 14 for the last couple of days. And, you know, I'm just looking at it. Well, there's not much I can do. Um, just go out there and do, you know, something at least um, to show that I'm still there. You know, wave the flag to all the clients and all that type of stuff. Um, contacting the clients as well, you know, even though it's been pouring down rain and they're saying, oh, we didn't even expect you to come, but thanks for calling, you know, things like that, communication is the key as well, that's part of the marketing. And, you know, for me today, I'm just going to do some hedging work. There's a couple of little hedges that are, uh, that are outstanding, that I haven't done last, uh, what, week, week ago, uh, because of the rain, you know, these are little things that you can do, you know, building up 
to that time where it's going to be busy next week. I know next week I'm going to be flat out mowing lawns. Um, it's in the busy season at the moment. I mean, this is supposed to be summer. Don't know how this works out, but summer here in Australia, in New South Wales in particular, is um, we've had quite a bit of a, you know, 50-50 hot and wet uh, season so far. Pretty much like what they had in America, same thing. El Nino effect, whatever you want to call it, whatever the case may be, global warming. Um, all the weather's upside down. So, you know, these are the things that we've really got to um, focus on getting over with psychologically so you can continue and improve. So uh, this is a good video, I suppose, for other people as well that are first getting into the industry, um, you know, first time getting into the business and thinking, hang on, I've done the wrong thing because I can't work for the rest of the week. Uh, it is a good thing um, because you're investing in the future. You let nature invest in the future for you, you know, raining so that you can grow, so you can mow next week and all that type of stuff. So psychologically, it's got to get it in your head no worries, that's okay, look, it's not bad, it's not bad at all, it's actually good. If it didn't rain, I wouldn't have a job. So that's what you've got to look at. Anyway, guys, catch up with you soon, and good luck psychologically.